Can I have a motion to accept the meeting notes from our last meeting, which was February 10th, 2020 meeting? I read them, but I wasn't there, so. I'm well, unfortunately, it's either you or Tom. Yeah, so. Deaf. Tom, you have to unmute your phone because I can't hear you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Thank you. Can I have a motion to accept the meetings from the February 10th meeting, please? Yeah. Motion to accept. Thank you. Tom? I'm not getting any audio. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. Yeah, we can hear you. Can hear you. I, I, just, I just heard a little tiny bit of it, but I'm not getting very loud at all. So I don't know. I can't. Are you on your phone? Maybe you have to adjust the volume on there. I did that already. I'm all the way up to the top and I'm getting nothing. Very little anyway. Like I heard what you said, but go ahead. You can go up to keep going and see if I can catch on to it. Okay. Need to pull up my agenda. Sorry. I'm trying to my phone crash. I need to pull up the agenda. Sorry, Molly. That's okay. You want to just for your own? You want to just for your There we go. Got it. Okay. Is there any public comment? Did we receive any information for public comment for this meeting? No? Okay. We'll move on to parks and uh, schools, Tom. Um, we're starting to do aggressive cleanups and spring cleanups for both the schools and the parks grounds. So uh, we got our mowers out. We started cutting. We uh, maintained all our equipment preparing it for the season and uh, we're underway with our uh, spring and summer um, deployments. As you as everyone knows the uh, parks are still closed due to the, um, the coronavirus. Schools are closed but we are still doing the work that needs to be done in the maintenance. Um, I know we had some snow over the last one, but no one went out for that, right? I'm sorry? No Repeat? one went out for that little storm that we had, right? No. Okay. I know the parks are closed, but you can see that there are people playing over at like a Bungie, Bungie School. Um, on the softball fields, people are still going out into the out. So, we're have to address that with the PD. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I know. I I understand. We got to discuss that with the PD. I'm not expecting you guys to do that, but I know you. I saw the fields, and the fields look great. Yep. I just want to make sure that you know the guys aren't wasting their. I don't want to say wasting their time, but they're not having to keep go back over there to keep doing it over and over and over again. Gotcha. We try to no. stop them because once this ball lifted, you know, we don't want to be behind the eight ball. We want everything ready to go for our community and the kids. And so we're doing our best to stay on top of it now. Okay. Was that it on parks and schools? What about transfers? Uh, no transfers to report. Okay. Give us a financial update. Financial update. Uh, we're heading towards the end of the fiscal year. We are, I noticed a small little uh, problem overlooking this today, but it's not a big deal. I've already made the call to the finance director and, and asked about the uh, longevity account in the transfer station portion of the budget. And it appears that they were pulling out of that account when they should have been pulling out of the DPW account. But that has all been corrected, I believe, after my phone call today. So they're looking at that as we speak. 
But other than that, all the accounts are good. No transfers. We're, we're actually doing pretty well with our budget. Quiet winter may help. <laughs> Vehicle update? Uh, yep. Friday, we are in possession of our beautiful new uh, Chevy 2500 series pickup truck for the uh, leads. Um, those trucks are absolutely beautiful. If you get a chance to come down and look at them or you'll see them around town. But uh, they're finally in and they're out in the field. And, you know, it's a great represent representation to the department. And uh, we're getting pretty proud of it. It really professionalizes the department as well. So those trucks are really top, state-of-the-art, beautiful vehicles. And uh, they're all equipped with the toolboxes and the lights and all the just really nice trucks. So that, that's a, definitely an accomplishment. And it's great to see the department being professionalized for our uh, constituents. <laughs> Uh, what we did with the other trucks that the leads were using, one relatively new Dodge went to our athletic uh, Ted Freeman. He is the guy that does all the lines, um, the athletic field maintenance. And he was driving like a 1985 era truck. So we decided to give him that newer vehicle, which is also a nice representation to the department. So now it, it essentially he's, you know, he could do his job a lot easier and we've got a newer truck. And, and uh, the other vehicle we gave to Chris at, for the mechanic. So we put another mechanic truck back on the road. Should Chris have to leave the yard for a road job? And uh, he has a vehicle to do that now. Also, Chris will be fueling the equipment at the transfer station and maintaining the equipment. So he will be using his own mechanic truck now. So with purchasing those two new trucks, we put the other trucks to good use that we needed out in the field. So awesome. it's a win. Right. Any, any questions on um, the vehicle update? No. I'm good. Good. Transfer station update. Transfer station today, we are uh, working now to get our wood grinding started. Uh, we had to do an extra service this year. So we didn't have much of a winter. We had a lot of ice storms. And we're having a lot of rain. And as a result, we've had a lot of issues with trees. So that being said, we got quite a pretty big pile at the transfer station. I don't want it to compile up too much where, you know, we can start getting issues with it. So we are in the, actually within the next couple of weeks, we're able to find some money in the budget. Within the next couple of weeks, we'll have the uh, grinding service here, grind our uh, wood chips down, or all our brush. Question. Yes. What can we do about getting those units covered that are below the stone wall? That stuff is blowing over to the left side of the uphill driveway, and it's all getting caught in the water there. Plastic bags and so on and so forth. It's the spillage from the can, the big can. You go up the driveway and the first can on the right. First can on the right. As you're going into the compost area? No, no, no. When you're going into the, the entrance, it's going to go to <clears throat> the chute. When you're coming when you're coming into the entrance way. The first left. The first left. So you're taking that Talking left about the recycling up. can. Yep. Yep. Well, we're doing our best. We always put crews in there to, to – uh, clean that up and we'll talk to Cabo. We can have to do more to, to uh, keep the area up. Well, I'm not, so. I'm not so much concerned with the stuff on the ground that's right by the can. That's, that's fine, okay? But it needs to be picked up. I'm concerned with the stuff that's blowing over into the water over there before somebody starts raising a complaint about yeah. 
So, mm -hmm. bottom line, it needs some attention. Certainly, we'll look at that all morning. Thank you. Yeah, Tom, can we throw a tarp over that? Only, and I understand where Mr. Lombardi's coming from that because there was a whole Facebook post about a village in town and trash being on the ground in the village and I was getting into a debate. <laughs> we an could, environmental debate. <laughs> we could tarp it like on a weekend or something, but we obviously can't tarp it during our operation. No. Right, just tarp it at the end of the day. Yeah. And I understand that and the, and that was my point. You hit the nail yeah. right on the head. The carpeting should probably be done, you know, at prior to close the shift uh, and then taken off, you know, the next morning. But again, my concern is that stuff that's to the left of the driveway because there is a water, you know, there is some kind of a waterway there and there is, yeah. certainly don't need people complaining. Yep. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll look at that. Thank you. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'll meet uh, Frankie and Jordan up there and see what we can do to get it tarped and and we'll try and get that uh some paper picking going on there and clean up them fence lines thank you johnny thank you mr lombardi for bringing that up all right any other discussion on frankie and jordan here are they here frankie and jordan yes yeah i'm here i'm here okay. Take your notes, guys. <laughs> All right. Okay, next is transfer station update. Tony, you want to give us an update on the bulk pickup? Bulk pickup was suspended for April with concerns for the COVID-19 virus. Uh, we had some safety concerns. Bulk pickup is uh, scheduled for this month. We are taking actively taking uh you know calls and we're scheduling for the end of this month uh it'll be the last thursday and friday of this month we will be got, um out there picking up scheduled bulk pickup do you start on a certain t side of the town first do you start on the east side or the west side of the town first or well, is it just whatever depending on how many uh addresses we have yeah. We uh, we uh, try to get creative. If it's that much out there, we'll put two crews out, and we'll put a uh, crew on the west side, and then we'll put a crew on the east side. And I'm sorry. When are you starting the the bulk pickup again? The last Thursday and Friday of the month. That's the last Thursday and Friday of every month is uh, bulk pickup. I don't have a calendar directly in front of me, so I really don't know what that date would be. No, because I just want to make sure that we get that on our Facebook, on the town's Facebook page, and we can share it on our own Facebook page the last Thursday and Friday of May. Is that all? Is that going to happen all through summer, Tony? Yeah, it goes uh, to normal schedule. It's April through October. Uh, so we'll start in May and it will, we'll go through okay. October. We're not extending it just in case we get asked that question. Since we started a month late, we're not extending it an extra month, right? Uh, that hasn't been discussed. I mean, you know, it's hard to kind of forecast of that weather, far right? ahead. But uh, we probably have more, you know, be able to answer that clearer once we kind of know what we're up against. So we'd have to get closer to that point in time. All right. Any questions on bulk pickup? Any discussions? Anything? Worker work update and director's report. All right. For the month of April. We street swept 71 lane miles. Uh, street sweeping operation. We are currently uh, targeting all our sanitation routes so that we can effectively 
sweep every road in town. So um, Fridays, we also sweep downtown every Friday and the uh, industrial park. So for the month of April, we swept 71 lane miles of road. Uh, roadside mowing, that's all our intersections in town, the right of ways in town. Uh, we have that crew moving now, 72 man hours. So that crew is out and began his cutting for the season. Tree trimming, we've been very busy with. Uh, we've combined man hours for the tree trimming was 240 man hours. And we removed about four tons of brush for the ton for the month of April. For our trash run and paper picking, uh, 32 driver hours, 24 labor hours, and a, a ton and a half of trash was removed from the town for the month of April. We installed 12 signs, 16 man hours. We uh, did a special detail at the PD. We spread and rolled millings in their parking lot. Uh, eight heavy equipment hours, eight driver hours, uh, about five tons of asphalt. We installed driveway aprons at a couple of dresses in town. What else did we do? We repaired potholes for the month of April, 383 potholes, used six tons of asphalt. We also started our new detail for the month of April, which now we are also taking care of WPCA ground maintenance for the sewage plant and 10 pumping stations. Uh, we did effectively clean, spruce up the facility, the sewage plant, and, and all the pumping stations throughout the town. And that detail was a total of 24 man hours. Banner installations. We will have more further numbers on banner installations for the uh, the virus next month. But we still did hang. Uh, let's see, 29 banners in April. And seasonal banners, we'll call them, and it's 16 man hours to do that. And then finally, the grounds maintenance for the parks is 106. Driver hours, 157 labor hours, 263 total man hours, and then the grounds maintenance for Board of Ed, 120 labor hours. And uh, that again was to aggressively begin our spring and summer operations into the uh, grounds maintenance, parks, and Board of Ed. And that is about all I have for my director's report for the month. Oh, thank you. Questions? So as you can see with the numbers, uh, the department, uh, you know, we're kind of a conservative trim department and we do get a lot of work done. We only have, well, we do all that work with two crew leaders, one mechanic, 10 drivers and three laborers and one seasonal employee. So that's a pretty small department, but we do get the work done. So, Tone, guys, uh, full staff right now. Uh, everybody's healthy. I'm sorry. You got fully staffed. Uh, yeah, we're we're fully staffed. Everybody's healthy. Knock wood. Good. Good. You know, uh, we had one little scare. One of our guys came in contact with someone, so he, he went under quarantine for two weeks. Thank God, he he uh, is back to work. Uh, you know, we do our best. I mean, it, it's just like, uh, you know, we can't ignore, we can't get complacent, but we're always discussing with each other. We're, we're uh, you know, very strongly enforcing our social distancing. You know, we have uh, the hand sanitizer in every truck. We even got uh, creative to where every employee drives their own truck. We have enough vehicles in our fleet where we have an employee getting in, in a truck by himself and they'll meet each other at the jobs. That's good. And, uh, you know, yeah, and then we staggered the shift change where we have half the crew coming at six and then we have the other half coming at seven. We'll let them work through their lunch. Obviously, you know, we don't want them out there. So we come in, we get the work done and we get out of there. Um, I'm proud to say so far, 
you know, because we're all we're all working in a team effort. We're communicating, and uh, luckily, thus far, we we're we're in good shape. Good. So, very good. So I don't know how much longer this uh, this whole deal is going to go, but we have a pretty good plan in place, and it's working relatively well for us. Thank you, Tony. Um, other business? Just like to follow up on um, something that we talked about, I think, at uh, our last meeting, which was. <laughs> wasn't in March. Um, oh, February. February was our, yeah. Maintenance on the WPCA vehicle. So are we doing that or are we not doing it? Yes, thank you, sir. Uh, that was one thing I forgot to mention in the vehicle report. My apologies. We did get the, uh, uh, their flood truck in our facility. They asked us to do a federal. Yep. Uh, Chris did federal and found that there's uh, quite a bit wrong with the truck. And uh, we're currently researching parts. I think we got all the parts quotes. Uh, we're waiting on WPCA to find us the money to fix the truck. But yes. So, that, so that's off the road. It is, I, uh, yes. That vehicle. We're not happy about it, but I did, uh, I mean, you know, we did a federal. That truck should not be on the road like that for safety reasons. Um, yeah. So, you know, we suspended the vehicle. It has to be fixed before it can go back out. Yeah, that's, well, that's the law. That's, you know. Well, but, uh, whoever the person is that's complaining about it, you can remind them of the safety issues and the liability that the WPCA and the Town of Seymour would be put in if someone was in here. Uh, well, absolutely. That. We got it under control, sir. Yep. Right. So, and I believe I will bring it to the attention of the board if I have any problems with it. But uh, I think I can handle it. You know, they weren't too happy about it, but I told them the truck's not leaving this facility until it's fixed. So. Actually, um, I think it'd be a good idea, idea, if I share with the board via email uh, the report from the WPCA so you could see what what how how good our mechanic our mechanic is and how detailed our public work department is so yeah. i will be sending that out to everybody um on this list so you guys could could read it and there's even a video that goes with it so you you could see so you can appreciate and i know we appreciate our board but just to the workers just to see how detailed they go into it and how meticulous they are and they understand it's Seymour's name out there you know especially after we had that crash sat that Saturday with the tractor trailer and all you know, the it, that. what I what what troubles me when you see number one the equipment is expensive you know, you gotta make, you gotta take care of it. I just can't see somebody getting in the truck like that and just kind of negating the, the all the procedures to take care of that truck. I mean, it just bugs me personally. And uh, that was day one priority for me. That you know, that I don't tolerate well negligence of uh, equipment because it's costly to buy it. It's bought to you know so you can do your job easier, more professional. My motto is work smarter, not harder. So when you get the best of equipment, equipment that money could buy, you, you, you're kind of expected to take care of it. So, and that's exactly the way uh, we manage that department today. And, and uh, WPCA is going to have to do the same thing because if we're going to be federaling them trucks, then we're going to have to expect them same the requirements of the WPCA. So, huh. I'm, you might not be the right person to ask this, but so when they have a problem, what are they doing? Sending it out? Well, they were doing that, but I think between Anne Marie and myself, we kind of put a halt to all of that because. Okay, that's. Uh, if it, if that's the truck had. That's my question. That's. <laughs> 
you guys have a handle on when they're re when they need something repaired vehicle wise they are to call us correct okay that's what i wanted to hear and we will make we're the not, determination on the dollars here we will also make the determination on where the vehicle goes if, it, if we can't fix the vehicle goes to a vendor of our choice because also finding that uh, the vendors they were using uh, i don't want to mention any names that you know they weren't really doing the work that we were kind of expecting to do so we're going to choose the vendors that we think are maybe more you know experience for the work maybe have the tools so that's going to be our decision to make that that choice of who we're going to pick to do it the tires on the truck were over 20 years old yeah we actually had to buy new rims for the tires because the tires i guess they don't know they don't make the size in the tires anymore so we had to also buy new rims they put they put tires on the back of the truck, but they never put them on the front. I never heard of such a thing. Well, that's not important. It's <laughs> your front tires. I mean, you put a, you got three thousand gallons. I don't know, was it a thousand, three thousand gallons of water you're carrying on that truck? Just just and you're ignoring the front tires. Just wow. bring a little levity to the board. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. But, well, better days are coming, so we'll see what happens. Is there any other? No. Um, you want to say something, Tom? No. Um, any other questions? Here. Any other business? Any, all right, any other public comment? Did any public comment come in while we were in our meeting? Okay. With that, can I have a motion to adjourn? So move, Madam Chairman. Second. Motion by Patrick, second by Rick. All right, everybody have a good night. Stay safe. You stay safe. Bye-bye.